Hi everyone, it's Sho, Japanese local guide, and today I will do capsule hotel tour. There are many capsule hotels here in Japan, and this time I went to 9 hours in Suidobashi. I have been meeting more than 2,000 guests and asking from guests that I, should I stay capsule hotel almost all the time. My answer is definitely yes, at least once. It's gonna be a unique experience for sure. So, let's get started. First, checking in at entrance. Here, the check in time is from 2 pm and the check out is uh, next morning at 10 am. You'll be given a card with your room number and a QR code for the locker. The staff speaks English, so it's okay if you don't speak any Japanese. After checking it in, the first thing you should do is head to the, your locker. The locker opens by scanning the QR code. If you lose this card, you'll be in trouble, so make sure not losing it. You can hang your bag and jacket here. If you have large items that won't fit in the locker, the front desk can store them for you. This is the amenity bag. You'll find a towel and a toothbrush and slippers and even pajamas. Before heading to your room, change into the slippers in here. After changing, store your shoes in the locker. Let's head to the guest room now. My pot is 208 and this is my pot. The inside of the pot is a very simple, equipped with the USB port and a regular outlet. You can adjust the light. And a pot can be open and closed for privacy when you sleep in. The toilet and shower facility are on the first floor. Shower room. At some hotel, shower head is way too low for those big guys. But here, shower head is high enough so you don't have to worry about it. Check out a Japanese toilet, I mean bathroom. Japanese toilet have warm seat and they come with various features. Unique one is sound feature. No need to worry about any noises. Also, you should definitely try bidet when you come into Japan. But here's the point: it's a good idea to check the water pressure and the temperature first. You know, sometimes it can be way too strong and way too hot, either cold. But this tip is from my experience, so yeah, make sure. In the shared lounge, you can enjoy a cup of coffee while working or just to chill. There is a convenience store nearby, making it very convenient for quick snack or anything you might need. I visited 9 hours of Suidobashi this time. Well, Suidobashi is about a 15 minutes train ride from Shinjuku and just a 5 minutes away from Akihabara, making it very accessible. It's just a two minutes away from the station, so it's easy to find. You won't get lost. There are also nine hours branches in Shinjuku and the Narita Airport and so on. However, like please note that the uh, Shinjuku branch is only for women, and the Narita Airport branch is recommended for those arriving late at night or after catching an early morning flight. When you come to Japan, be sure to experience staying in a capsule hotel at least once. It's gonna be a great experience for sure. So, thank you for watching. Enjoy Japan trip. See you guys in the next video.